Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel and checking out my video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the best visual fidelity out of Cyberpunk 2077 on an RTX 2070 Super with ray tracing turned on running at 1440p. So let's get started guys, shall we? So I found this corner over here in a very busy part of the city. There's a lot of NPCs, a lot of cars, a lot of neon signs and tall buildings. And this is just to give you an idea of what kind of frames you could expect with these settings turned on. I like to turn off all of these uh, film grain, chromatic abrasion, um, depth of field lens flare, motion blur. I feel like they don't really add too much to the game. And in fact, they take away from the visual fidelity and they kind of make it look like it's running at a lower resolution. Uh, so I just turn all of those off from the get-go. And then right here, guys, it's kind of a mixture of medium and high with a little bit of low mixed in with ray tracing turned on medium. Um, and this is really going to give you the best balance between, you know, ray traced shadows and effects and just overall high quality textures and uh, again, visual fidelity. So just take a look here at these settings I have, guys. Try to copy these down. Make a couple changes here and there if there are certain things you want to keep. Like if you like having volumetric cloud setting quality turned to high, even though you know, you're not really going to look at the clouds too often. And that is something like fog that really does kind of weigh down your FPS there and prevent it from reaching, you know, like even if it's like three or four extra FPS, like it's, it makes a big difference with those things turned on high. And then I, I like to have ray tracing turned on. I think it's pretty sweet. I think the game looks awesome. And I think ray tracing really does put it over the top. And then right here, DLSS, this is what's gonna kind of be the, um, the the thing that allows us to run the game at higher graphic settings with ray tracing turned on, right? That's NVIDIA's artificial intelligent upscaling tech. And there's three different modes here you're gonna wanna work with. You have balanced, performance, and ultra performance. Um, so I like to run it on balanced, which gives me a range of like mid 30s to upper 50s. Uh, of course, if you want a little bit higher frames, you could run it on either performance or ultra performance. Ultra performance is really going to get you closer to that 60 average. You're probably going to drop down to the mid 50s during really hectic scenes in parts of the city that are really packed. But just walking around, you're going to have like 60 FPS on ultra performance. And honestly, guys, the only real things I've noticed on ultra performance mode are maybe a little bit of like visual artifacting in the distance. Uh, nothing like in your face bad, but like sometimes you look at like a palm tree or something, like a neon sign, the edges are gonna be a little bit blurry. The picture is not gonna be as detailed as it could be. But overall, it's not something negative. So if you wanna run at these settings at 60 FPS, DLSS on ultra performance is gonna be your move. Otherwise, keep it around balanced or performance mode and really, really get that full cyberpunk visual experience. Here we go guys, we're just going to drive around a little bit and just uh, keep an eye on the frame counter up there in the right corner and you'll see that uh, we're not going to drop below mid-30s on, uh, on balance here. And like, like again, if that's what you're going for in this game, which it's not Call of Duty, it's not a competitive shooter, you don't need to get every single frame possible, balanced will be fine. But if you want to get those extra frames, you know, you could try performance, ultra performance, like right here on ultra performance mode, you'll see that we're relatively stable in the 60 FPS range. You're not going to break that by much, but you're not going to fall below it. So it's really guys, it's kind of about what you want. But at the end of the day, your 2070 Super can handle this game. It can handle it and make it look amazing. So yeah, guys, that's my video. Thanks so much for checking it out. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you and enjoy playing Cyberpunk on your 2070 Super, guys. Bye bye.